there, this is Lilith Echoes, Garden Girl at Two Peas in a Bucket, bringing you the next installment of Scrap Your Stash, our Thursday video here at twopeasinabucket.com. This week I'm jumping in for the lovely Amy Heller. I'm going to show you how I created this layout and I decided to focus on stamps and using those stamps on your layout. We've all got loads of stamps and it, sometimes we just forget to use them. So here's a quick look at the supplies I used on my layout. I just take, took out uh, loads of stamps. I noticed that if, if I have them on hand, I'll be more likely to use them. So some American craft stamps, some from Technic Tuesday. You'll have a complete list just below here in the supply list section. I've also got some label stickers from October afternoon and also some alphabet stickers, some embellishments from American Crafts Amy Tangerine collection and some more stickers and I'll also be using a new product and this is from the new Amy Tangerine collection and it's a stitching template and I'm going to be using this little heart here. It's a really fun product because you've got everything in the packet as for the other supplies, you'll need some stamping ink. I'll be using some more embellishments here from the XOXO collection from American Crafts. I've also got some vellum and a scrap piece of cardstock and a little hard punch. Some washi tape. Uh, another little stamp here. Uh, I'll be using one of these lovely flowers from the Crate Paper collection. And uh, here are my little bits and pieces. I'll be using some of these frames, Polaroid frames, from one of the pattern papers from Dear Lizzie. Some more little die cuts and a little Amy Tangerine vellum envelope. And this piece comes from one of the sketchbooks. I just take them apart and use them on my layout. Crate paper as base. And then some 6x6 six six papers from a paper pad. The first technique is stamping. So. The first thing I did was I layered the base onto my uh, background and just marked with pencil where they would go. And then in a scrap piece of cardstock I punched out a little heart and I'm going to be using a stamp, a, f a really fine little pret pretty stamp from the Dear Lizzie collection. If you're using this technique, a masked technique, I would try and get a stamp with a really fine design. So I'm just going to stamp that over the punched out heart. There we go. And I'm going to do this all over the page. And I use the little pencil marks as guides so I don't have to start stamping in the middle because uh, you won't see it anyway. So there we go. We're going to just add a few little pink hearts all over the layout. Okay. And once that is done, I'm going to do the same thing, but I'm going to use some gray ink. I'm just going to clean my stamp and I just use uh, baby wipes for that. And here's some grey ink. And this is Stazon grey ink. This one is not in the in the store but you've got some lovely grey ink from uh, Hero Arts but I was still waiting for that to arrive so I just used my Stazon. There we go. So I'm just going to place those two pieces back on and just erase all my little pencil marks. And before sticking those down, I'm just going to add a bit more some ink splat splatters with some Mr. Hueys. And I'm just doing using a coffee stirrer. And I've taken two colors here. One is mint tulip and the other one I think it's boss. And now I'm going to start um, creating my center element with all the pieces. The next technique is stamping on vellum. So here I'm just going to put in all the different bits into the little pocket. That's why I really like uh, this piece from the sketchbook because I've got this little pocket. So I'm just going to lay layer everything and tuck everything into the, the pocket and just see how it looks. And I'm going to use some vellum. So here uh, I've taken out a vellum and some uh, pattern paper and I'm going to be using this great stamping set from uh, Technic Tuesday. This is really fun. I'm first going to stamp a, the border onto some pattern paper. Here I'm just sticking it down with some washi because it was moving a bit. There we go. 
and now I'm going from the sta same stamp set I'm going to take uh, one of the little sentiments and stamp that onto the vellum so here here I'm just placing it and I'm going to use some of the pink ink now normally when I stamp onto vellum I would use Stazon because that doesn't smudge but you can use uh, ordinary ink but just be careful to really to let it dry now I'm just going to tape off the sides of the vellum onto the cardstock and just cut around it and then I'm going to add a little staple to hold the vellum and the cardstock, uh, the pattern paper sorry together there we go and I'm going to just add that little piece to uh, my layout. Now the next technique is using stamping to create embellishments. Now I decided to use this little banner stamp from uh, the Dear Lizzie collection. And I'm just going to stamp that with the same grey ink onto some pattern paper. So I've chosen some pattern paper from the Dear Lizzie collection and this one is from there's one from the XOXO collection as well and I'm just stamping three banners on each of the pattern papers and I'm just going to cut around it So now that I've cut out all the banners, I'm going to start um, gluing everything down and I'm going to glue uh, each individual piece down uh, that has to be slipped into the pocket. Now if you've got memorabilia, you can just add them as such without the glue, uh, leaving you the possibility to take them out and have a look at them. That's what's really fun about these little pockets. So here I'm just adding all the little elements of the flower from crepe paper and here I'm adding a brad and instead of using the little metal uh, elements uh, to attach it to my page I just use a foam dot. This gives me the possibility to play around a bit if I'm not really satisfied with how it looks like I'm doing here. I wouldn't have been able to do that if I'd attached it in the in the normal way. So here I'm adding the little uh, elements I created with the vellum and here I'm attaching my little banners. I decided to give them a little uh, floating look so I just used some foam dots again and I'm adding to them to the top and the bottom to create a mirror effect. Now the next way of integrating stamps into your layout is to use them in the title. So this little die cut with the mommy is part of my title as well as the favorite uh, forever favorite die cut that I cut with my cameo. I'll leave the link in the description box and I've chosen two stamps one of which says snapshot and I'm going to be stamping that just below the mommy with some Versafine black ink and I really love Versafine ink because it gives a really crisp image and the next stamp uh, is um, a little banner that says the best and I'll be embossing that. So the next techniques I'm going to be using are uh, embossing and integrating stamps into your journaling. So here I'm just embossing the little banner with some Versamark which is uh, a, a glue ink and then I added a little bit of uh, embossing powder. This one is Zing embossing powder from American Crafts and now I'm just going to emboss, heat emboss it with my heat gun. And don't be afraid to use uh, embossing powder on vellum. Uh, it, if you use it on little pieces like this it doesn't warp or anything. I'm just cutting around it and then I'm going to add a, a little foam dot below it and just add it to the layout. Here I'm adding a few more elements before uh, writing my journaling. So this is a little banner from Jenny Bolin. And uh, this is another little stamp that I'm going to add just below the little banner. Stamps can also add lots of little details and I love looking at details on a layout. So here I'm going to use a love word 
uh, in my journaling. So here I'm just drawing a few lines and then I'm going to add the love and then I'm going to write my journaling uh, integrating the love into the text. So there you have it. I think I'm going to add one more little stamp here, create a little border along uh, the paper. So what's nice with the little foam dots is you can just flip them off and add a little element and just pop them back on. So uh, I decided I wanted to add a little bit more detail with some frames and I'm using some of the Studio Calico frames here. They are really pretty. There are some craft frames but also some vellum frames. So here I'm using one of the craft ones with a little heart and just adding it uh, beneath. And this one is a vellum one. You can't really see it that well here on the video but it's a little vellum uh, frame saying you and me. I also decided to use a few arrows and I cut these out with using my Silhouette Cameo. These are cut files that can be found uh, in the Silhouette store. I'll leave the link in the description box. Um, my layout is nearly finished but I always uh, love adding little elements at the end. And here I'm adding just a little bit of washi tape. This is really lovely washi tape from Freckled Fawn. And now I'm just flipping through the little sticker book from Fifth and Frolic and I've decided to add a little sticker here into my pocket. I've also chosen a little date stamp from the Soho collection from American Crafts and just stamped that onto one of the die cuts in the pocket. Now the last element I'll be adding is the little heart, the little stitched heart and with this AB Tangerine template it's really easy. You just punch the little holes and then you just take some thread and a stitch and I think I'll be using these quite a lot on my layouts. Thank you so much for watching this video and I hope you've picked up a few new t techniques along the way. Don't forget to uh, participate in our challenge and upload your layout. Uh, you'll be able to win a £10 gift, gift certificate to the two-piece store. Uh, I had so much fun creating this uh, layout and using up some of my stamp stash. Thank you so much for watching and see you soon. Bye!